check out this gorgeous yard or should I say a grocery store because literally you can find everything out here to feed your whole family. This is Jake Mace and this is Jake's yard and it is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. You have everything out here. I mean solar panels, you have a garden. I mean you definitely fit the goal of the Green Desert and that is to help people be more self-sufficient. Yeah, it's an honor that I fit the goal of the Green Desert. I love that. <laughs> you know, we do. We have a garden. We try to grow and raise beds. We have tons of bees right now pollinizing all of our, our bolting leafy greens. We have chickens. We have a chubby rabbit. <laughs> I love the rabbit. You have a huge pond with fish. You have a turtle. We, we also have uh, hundreds of edible fruit trees, nut trees, and medicinal trees. So we Ooh, try I to, love that. We try to be as self-sufficient as we can and try to grow ourselves off the food grid even though we're in the city of Tempe. I love that because a lot of people think Arizona, you can't grow anything, it's too hot out there. Exactly. So fruit trees, that's why we're here today because Jake says there are five fruit trees that will really totally save you some money. So tell me about this. There are, and there are many fruit trees that we grow here, but there are five fruit trees that I love for a few reasons. Number one is that they ripen during different times of the year. Mm -hmm. And so the goal is to always have something that's edible and, and uh, delicious and ripening. Okay. Okay, so number one, any kind of citrus. I would say tangerine is my personal favorite. Navel oranges are also good. Are they sweet? Yeah, they're all sweet and delicious. So <laughs> okay. even if you get the wrong kind, you're going to be good because okay. citrus are great because they stay ripe on the tree for many, many months. So unlike an apricot or a peach, which ripens and you have a couple weeks to pick it, citrus can start ripening October, November and stay on the tree all the way to February, March. Nice. And you could be eating off the off your trees for a good five, six months out of the year. Okay, give me number two. Number two is any kind of date palms. And if you're gonna start an edible food yard or a edible landscape, mm -hmm. put the date palms in first because they take a little longer to grow. Okay. And your goal with a date palm is to get female date palms, the fruiting ones. Males produce the pollen and females produce the fruits. Not every tree is male, female, but dates are. And so <laughs> it's all about the ladies. <laughs> It is. Female power. Okay. We don't ahead. want the males in our yards. <laughs> we don't want those. There's okay. enough males around in the city to pollinize your females, but if you do have one male of the date palms, <laughs> they can pollinize up to 50 females. Exactly. Sounds familiar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's number three? Number three is the Barbados cherry, and this one is a hidden tree that nobody knows about. It's also called an Acerola cherry, and it's not a true cherry. It's a tropical cherry, and it takes full sun. So I have one of mine planted in the full sun over here behind us. And it is great because the cherries are very sweet. They're very delicious, especially if you let them fully ripen. And they have more vitamin C in them than almost any other fruit in existence. And it ripens consistently throughout the year for about seven months out of the year. So it'll be like March flowers, April fruit. So you get a consistent crop over the entire year. So that's nice because that saves you money because it's something you really need. And don't go to the store, you have it in your yard. Exactly. Okay, and number four. Number four is fruiting mulberries. And so there's purple and white varieties, and there's different varieties within the colors, within the purple and the white. So if you want a mulberry tree that fruits delicious fruits and doesn't stain the ground, mm -hmm. get the white one. And if you want one that has a lot more antioxidants, get the purple one. But fruiting mulberry is, it tastes like a blackberry with sugar on it or Ooh. syrup on it. Oh, and addicting. Every, addicting. <laughs> and you know that if you go to Whole Foods, and you go buy the dehydrated uh, mulberries in the health aisle, mm -hmm. they're like $30 a pound. So Whoa. grow the tree yourself. It's one of the fastest growing trees. Don't put it next to the foundation of your house because it's very invasive. Put it out in the yard, use it as a shade tree. It's a fantastic, fantastic edible fruiting tree. Okay, and number five. Number five is Loquat. And this one is actually a tropical, a subtropical, but it stays evergreen year round. And loquat is, the fruit is orange like an apricot, but it's much more sweet and delicious than an apricot. It's almost like a, an orange with extra sweetener, extra sugar in it. And they stay evergreen year round, plus they take our cold very well. You don't need to frost protect them. So they can stay um, full of green leaves through the winter, down to about 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And they fruit very early in the season. And so the loquat begins to fruit just as the orange trees are done fruiting. And so you have a, a gap that's filled. Okay. If you have both kinds of trees, you're eating for at least five, six months out of the year. Throw some mulberries, dates, and ace or the cherry in there, and you've got a food forest started in your own yard. Oh, I like it. Yeah. And Jake, you have a bonus that's not really fruit, but it's more healthy. Exactly. The moringa trees. So M-O-R-I-N-G-A. Yeah, sounds like a dance. Like a, uh -huh, right like a Latin yeah, dance. You know? right, okay. <laughs> Anyways, so moringa trees have food on them year round okay. in the Phoenix area. Uh -huh. And uh, they're a fantastic tree because they, after two years of growing a moringa tree, they're drought tolerant. You can stop watering them. 
Ooh, uh -huh. so save money on water too. Yeah, exactly, and you eat the leaves, you can eat the bean pods, you can use the bark, you can use the seeds, they're all usable or medicinal. And they say that Moringa is the new kale because it's got such a broad spectrum of nutrients and vitamins. Okay. More vitamin C than oranges, more potassium than bananas, Whoa. more calcium than milk. It's a multivitamin leaf. You can add it to salads or your smoothie or make a tea out of it. It's a fantastic, fantastic, underrated tree. It's like a miracle tree. They call it that sometimes. Jake, thank you again for Thanks sharing for as usual. I okay. love having you out and I love watching your Green Desert YouTube channel. It's so fantastic. Thank you, yeah. thank you. And thank you guys for watching. So as always, share, 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 share the videos like us follow us Twitter Facebook Instagram all of the above and of course as usual if you have any questions or comments let us know about it